No one in our community has any memory of the past. Only me. When the elders need guidance on matters that are beyond their experience, I provide wisdom. That is now your role, to provide guidance in the present using memories of the past. Well, golly, what inspired the story of The Giver for me? It's hard to think back that many years because the book is 20 years old now. My father was very old, clearly would not live much longer, and it became more and more apparent that he was losing memories that to me were so important. On the other hand, at the same time, I realized that he was content because he had forgotten every sad or scary thing that had ever happened to him. He'd forgotten World War II, in which he participated. And so I began to think about how important memory is, what would happen if we could manipulate human memory. And when a writer begins to think questions like that, that begin with, what if, then a story begins to take shape. And that was the beginning of The Giver. I'm just an ordinary human. When I finally saw the final movie with everything in there, it was really uh, kind of overwhelming. It was a very gratifying experience to see that it was done with such regard for the book. The movie makers have taken my work and retained what I wanted to be there and the questions I wanted to raise, but they expanded it, brought it to a new level and a, and a wonderfully visual level. The boy out on his journey when he flees with the baby. Uh, when I wrote that section of the book, I felt restrained by the fact as a writer, because I had a baby who didn't talk. And yet, in the movie, you still have the boy and the baby who doesn't talk, but you have that incredible landscape. The landscape almost becomes a character in the film. I was very moved by that. In fact, as the writer of the book, it's kind of ironic that now, having seen the movie, I'd love to go back and rewrite the book and incorporate some of the things that are in the movie. And one of the things that I wish I could beef up now, too late of course, uh, is those memories. The, the different religions, for example, uh, little flickers of all of those references to the diversity in the world. And I wish now those were all in the book. Uh, of course they aren't. I chose the images in the book carefully, but I think I didn't choose enough of them. One other thing, the character of the chief elder. I didn't develop her character. The screenwriters did, and then Meryl Streep brought their words and elevated it further so that she becomes a very complex character. There I sat in the theater, and I knew the story, and I read the screenplay. I knew how it was going to end. So nothing was a surprise, except that everything was a surprise by how overwhelming it was and how many shivers went up my spine. Isn't it great that the movie is out there and is now a vast and beautiful finished piece?